Okay, hi guys. What's going on? It's your boy Sir Grace Salon. And you have tuned into a lot. That's right. <laughs> I don't know if you knew that or not. I mean, I don't know how y'all get notifications. <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> now, today is uh, Saturday, the 25th. Yeah. Um, a Cyber Monday has already started. I don't know why. Uh, I just got a notification from somebody saying it did. I don't think it does until Monday, but whatever. I'm cool. Now, from what I understand in news, I don't know if this is a big thing or not. Um, I heard that Black Friday was down. Like, very few people actually did it, which is good, in my opinion. Now, uh, for big business or whatever, maybe not such a big, not such a good idea. You know, maybe not such a big deal. Thing is, people are tired of going out in mass, waiting in lines to maybe procure some goods for Christmas. I mean, a lot of people do, but like, there's a lot of people who go and don't aren't able to get anything because of just how long damn mass lines are. Uh, and then people get trampled. And you know what? It's just not good for business. And yet, corporations sell, and that's what they do, and they kind of want it. They don't kind of don't want it. They don't want to look like, you know, hey, trample each other to get our goods, but they definitely want you there. <coughs> but I think we're going to see an increase in cyber sales this year just because... It's just easier for people to pick. Now, not clothing. Clothing items, maybe. But usually when it comes to clothing, it's all it's still it's still kind of a go-in process for some people. Some people, not a big deal. They, they know the places they buy. But when you're buying for other people, you got to be careful. So there's a little more interest in going and seeing clothes at a clothing store. Um, and, of course, if your store is nearby and you can buy it now that's one thing but I don't know I, I just I, I kind of feel like the uh, you know Black Fridays are dying <coughs> and I'm down with that now I realize that some people have it like almost like a holiday rite of passage you know today you're going with mom to Black Friday you know or I went with my dad to Black Friday every year since I was I don't even know how old and you know, that's fine that's, that's absolutely fine and you can still do that <laughs> as long as they keep doing Black Friday. But honestly, I don't I don't care for Black Friday. I've never done anything for Black Friday except one time I think I sent somebody to look out for like a coffee maker or something something fairly cheap or whatever. And I don't think they even got a chance to go. Like they had tried to go, but they stuck in line and yeah, so I didn't even get that. So I don't know. Coffee maker, a coffee maker, and a blender. Um, I think, I think I'm thinking about getting a Mister Coffee. Just the same thing as what I got before, because then I have two pots. Um, and then I would like to have. Uh, you know, I think about getting a ninja. <clears throat> I don't think I'll get a bullet, honestly. I mean, I I might, or a neutral bullet maybe. Um. Because when I do use my blender, I I pretty much use it for drinks. And, then, and very very rarely, very very like maybe once or twice a month, you know, I drop some ice, I drop some fruits, you know, and you know maybe a little, maybe a little bit of sugar or something or some kind of sweetener, honey, blend it up and have a a little snack, you know. But besides that, well. Yeah. Anyway, um, speaking of doing th of the old traditions, um, I think what I really want to do, and this is a nice segue, is we're going to do Wild Bill's original cola, the OG. Oh, sorry. 170 calories, 40 milligrams of sodium, 44 grams of carbs, or 43 from sugars. <clears throat> This is the original 
wild dose of soda, which I didn't, I, didn't, I don't have on here. Um, I'm not quite sure. I guess maybe the pack that I got didn't have the OG, but I want to try this. This, if this is true, this is kind of like the OG drink. So this should be good. Oh, that smells nice. Ooh, that's a, that's very sweet. Oh, oh, goodness. I think I would rather have this on ice. Uh, uh, uh. Ooh. But that's good. I mean, it is, it is very good. Um, it's just really sickeningly sweet. I mean, it's not, it's not, I say sickeningly, like, it's like really, really sweet. Uh, we could drop a good 10 grams of sugar off of that. Uh, I wonder if they have an OG Cola Light. That's nice. After you know, after the initial taste, the initial shock, he was shocked and stunned at the sweetness, the saccharine sweetness seeped into his pores and everything else. And out his wing wah, when he peed. <clears throat> that needy eyes didn't need to hear that. I'm, just, I'm being inappropriate. <laughs> Yeah, that's a really sweet soda. That's, and that, you know what's funny? That's what I don't like about it. And I really don't dislike it. <laughs> I mean, I, I actually really like the soda. It's a, it's a nice soda. It really is. This is a, this is a very good soda. Um, it has that cola flavor that kind of, you know that <clears throat> man that's really really tasty uh, I mean I wish there were more information on this um, to be fair um, so this tasting notes are cola molasses and pepper what pepper it says pepper. <clears throat> I don't. I don't get the pepper part. And I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna like be like faked into it. Like it has some ginger in it. You're like, oh, it just might have some ginger. <coughs> my will shall not be manipulated. Um, pure cane sugar, obviously. Here we go. We are in Tokyo. I got music of my brain. Uh, caffeine free, gluten free. Yeah, so no caffeine. Wow. It's not bad. How can gas be 375 in one place and 352 like less, like a mile away in town? closer into a town you go, the cheaper things are. The further outside of town you go, the more expensive things are. <clears throat> See, just down the street, 352. It's not that hard. I don't understand. You're still in town. I don't know. That's just 329, though, next to the other place. Of course, this is, this is all diesel I'm looking at. I'm, like, I'm not doing the unleaded. I mean, I do. This car is unleaded. But I was just looking at, the, like, the difference was, because the other ones are, like, 259 to 255. And there's a general area around there you can kind of get behind, but... Oh! Oh! Hey, and a burp. Nice. No funky aftertaste with a burp. Uh, I mean, honestly, Wild Bills, you guys are kicking it with this. Um, so I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with a five. On the five scale, you guys get a, you get a, you get a straight five. Um, I'm going to be a bit more harsh on the 
on the tens. But honestly, uh, I think I think I think I'm gonna go with an eight on this one as well. Um, it's no higher or lower than the other ones I've tried. Um, they, they're still great. They're great sodas. If somebody were, if this were something in town, I would buy it. In fact, I'm gonna check and see if they are. And I'm gonna check and see if they do. If I don't know why bills, and see if they do a uh, not a zero, but like a diet. Well, maybe a, it had a zero. That'd be kind of nice, like a zero sugar or a diet soda or something. But they probably don't. It's just so, so sweet. And that's really the downside. If it wasn't as sweet, like just a little bit, <clears throat> not so sweet, you know? And it might not be so bad. Oh. Looks like the Volkswagen got out. That's good. Oh, okay. So, uh, anyway, as always, I'm Sir Drinks a lot. And I'm wishing you health, wealth, and love. With enough time and gusto to enjoy it all down to the last drop. You guys take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.